What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode where today we are going to be jumping out on the pier doing a little bit of pier fishing which you guys know I struggle at quite often and today's video is no exception started off struggling then ended up getting yelled at and then ended up catching a couple fish so let's jump straight out get into it let's go Says who? Yes. I work here. Okay. Everybody needs to get a chance. Whether it's sit rolls or uh Jacob. Huh? I don't see how it's I've here. never heard that, but that I mean that's fine. And if I'm seasoned and if I'm part Gotcha. I I've first time I've ever heard that. And if I'm seasoned and if I'm part of the same thing. First time I've ever heard of that. So. <laughs> No, I mean, I don't care if that's an actual rule out here. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just something I've never heard of and didn't know. So, I mean, it's like... Just want to kind of jump in here and give you guys an explanation real quick of what was going on. We were in the wrong here. Apparently, Brant had two rods out, which you're not allowed to do in this area of the pier. The issue we took with this was how this gentleman approached me. And unfortunately, we weren't recording. But when he came at me, he came at me very aggressively, literally yelling at me that I could not have two rods on the pier, which I didn't have two rods on the pier. But we just didn't know. It wasn't like we were trying to intentionally do anything wrong. He could have easily just walked up and said, hey, just want to let you guys know not allowed to have two rods out here if you don't mind taking one of them down that'd be great you guys know we follow the rules we would have complied with no problem he just didn't have to be quite so aggressive and then he wanted to just keep going and going and going Brant put his second rod down and this guy just was just non-stop just like chattering on our ear about the, this rule and that he worked here turns out he didn't even really work there but it's neither here nor there we got over it we moved down to the other end of the pier and then this happened all right guys we changed up from the pompano fishing going to some spanish fishing just throwing a little casting spoon from shopcrawls.com this one is one of their native salt native casting spoons these uh well they're the first pure spanish of the year ron that is what a fish looks like right there dude Dude, you made me drop him. I was going to keep him. Yeah, I bet you were. You're not anymore. <laughs> I was going to keep him. There we go. There we go. Finally. It's a miracle. All on its own. <laughs> Amen to that. Ain't that the truth? But I foul hooked him. I definitely did not catch him in the mouth, y'all. There we go, fish on, guys. They're on them. Oh, lost that one. So, guys, they're staying in this muddy water. It's a little strange. It is strange because we've got clear water right out here. Yeah. And the fish are biting in the mud. It's it's weird because normally these Spanish, you wait for clearer water to move in, but these guys are definitely liking this muddier water today for sure. I do want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by our good friends at Carl's Bait and Tackle. And if you're not familiar with Carl's Bait and Tackle, it is an online retailer where I get a lot of my fishing tackle, whether it be terminal, lures, cases, whatever. And I told you guys in the Carl's video last month that one of my favorite things from Shop Carl's is their casting spoons and that's exactly what we're going to be using today on the pier when we start targeting spanish we're going to start off targeting some pompano then we're going to switch over to spanish when we switch over to the spanish we're going to be throwing some casting spoons from salt native that i got at shopcarls.com you can check out the link in the description down below if you become a carl's club member you can get ten dollars off your first order of 25 dollars or more if you use the code cmron10 so y'all click on the link down below go check them out now let's get back to fishing Here we go. Oh. 
There we go. Another fish on, right, guys. There's fish number two, guys. The Spanish are easy once you start getting into them because they're everywhere. So we're going to get this guy unbuttoned here real quick. And guys, a lot of the reasons you see people keep these undersized Spanish like this, I mean, these Spanish, when they attack lures, they you can see this guy just ripped his whole underbelly out. When you catch these fish, they tend to die anyways. So if you're not going to keep them, go ahead and give them to somebody, especially if they're like that. If you throw that dude back, he's not making it. So that's fish number two in the cooler. We might have to try to figure out some kind of Spanish mackerel dip or something to make. You would not have come down. Brant's trying to take credit for me catching fish right now, y'all. No, I'm not. He was going home. I was said, going home. And I said, let's go down here. I have a feeling you're going to catch some Spanish. He did say that. I'm not going to lie. Like, he did say, he's like, I, I feel like we can go down here and catch a few Spanish. And we have. I've hooked about five, caught two, which, hey. That's that's status quo for me. You guys know that. That's that's just kind of how I roll. I got him. There we go. Ooh, Brant and I doubled up. Y'all look, Brant's on. I'm on. We got to double up. Take mine a little bit bigger. I don't care. I don't need I don't need to measure mine on the pier, Brent. I don't need <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey, look at that guys. Nice double up here on Pensacola Yeah, not Beach mad about that. Here. Hey, look, I think they're even. They are pretty close. They're pretty dang they're close. So guys, I'm actually I've got plenty in the cooler and this guy, this is what I was talking about earlier. This one actually hooked right in the top of the mouth. So I'm comfortable letting this dude go because he's trying to bite me. He's mad. But I am comfortable letting this dude go because I feel like he is going to live. All right, we're going to let him go. See you, buddy. And he swam off just fine. Guys, as I said earlier, today's video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. And this is what we call those Spanish on. It is a one ounce casting spoon from Salt Native. Got a really cool design on the bottom of it. And this was getting it done today. I had several hits on this. Might have been a little bit too big of a profile for some of the Spanish we were targeting because some of them was smaller. But man, that thing did work today. I'm not mad about that at all. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the fishing portion of today. We're going to take these Spanish to the house, and I think we're going to fire up the big green egg and smoke these bad boys up and give them to Sarah and let her make a smoked Spanish mackerel dip that she's got a recipe for. So we're going to go try it right now. So back at the house, getting ready to clean up these Spanish mackerel. And I'm going to tell you all, Spanish are actually one of my favorite fish to clean simply because much like a trout, they clean up very nice and very easily you just get that knife right under the back or right under the meat work your way right down the skin just like that right there and you got your nice little spanish mackerel filet now these were not giants but they're going to be just big enough to get some meat off of because sarah has told me that she's got a spanish mackerel dip oh i'm super excited to make this i am stoked yeah sarah's back behind the camera she was not here with us this morning but she's back behind the camera working now that's what's up we got some smoke rolling that's what you're waiting for right there if you guys have never cooked on a big green egg it's actually an amazing cooking you can, you can grill on this thing you can smoke on it i've had this for a long long time it's one of the first grills i ever bought and these things are awesome but the smoke you get out of these you just can't beat it so i already got the spanish micro on here we're going to be pulling it out here in just about probably probably about 35 45 minutes you don't have to you don't have to smoke fish very long for it to get done so we'll watch it keep an eye on it see when it's done but we're gonna pull it off take it in the house and let miss sarah mix it in with her dip and see what we got let's go all right y'all so we got the mackerel smoking and sarah has somehow convinced me that planting vegetables is going to be cheaper than buying vegetables but i'm gonna be honest with y'all at this point i don't see it like it will be in the long run <laughs> We spent a lot of money. I want to show y'all. So we are going to start like a little backyard garden here. So what are we planting right here? Peppers. I got red peppers, green peppers. I even got pepperoncinis. And then, so we got our three-tier raised garden here yes. that we're doing. We got a Maybe concrete awesome. flower bed over here that we're doing. But apparently this was not enough because if you're wondering why mm -hmm. 
this gap is here and the reason is Sarah has convinced me that we need another one of these like even longer I'm telling y'all right now though like I ain't buying it so y'all just got to stay tuned to see if we ever actually pull anything like we tried a garden the first year we moved here and it didn't go so well like I'm just gonna be we put it literally under the eave of the house and it drowned it and we just we didn't it didn't go well so y'all just got to stay tuned to see if we actually pull something out of these gardens that we can use because I have my doubts so let's go check on the mackerel see if it's finished smoking up and at least we're gonna have some mackerel dip tonight but we sure ain't have no fresh vegetables not today I've already mixed my cream cheese and my sour cream and I'm gonna add some yummy ingredients to make this amazing mackerel dip so I'm just gonna find like chop up some of my green onions and I've got chives so chives will be great to put in this as well so we're gonna it's gonna flavor it almost like my yummy cheese dip that I love so I'm super excited so now that we've got the green onions I'm going to put the chives and we're just gonna mix this up a little bit I used to not know the difference between green onions and chives but if you guys don't know the difference I mean check this out one is like significantly bigger than the other now granted you can use them for basically the same exact things but they do have a slightly different flavor so there's that here it is it looks so delicious and I'm super excited to start chopping all this up and putting it in my dip so I did get another bowl just because I think that's a lot of mixture for that fish and I want to really be able to taste the fish so we're gonna chop all this up and then mix it all up in this bowl I cannot wait there you have it all chopped up and now we get to mix it together and we'll probably have to let it chill for a couple hours just to let all the flavors kind of sink together and we're gonna see if Ron likes my dip so like I said, there is that much fish and like a whole bunch of this. So I don't want, I want to be able to taste the fish. I want it to be super good. So we're just going to start with a little bit and then get it all mixed up super yummy. Because I, I want Ron to be able to taste the fish. I want to be able to taste the fish. And I want to make the best dip that you've ever had. smells like tuna salad mm, it kind of does smell like tuna salad yep. but um i mean i i i have to admit i did eat a piece of the fish before i put it in there what <laughs> i did that's why there's not that much here it smell amazing so i think i i think i did the right thing because this looks like you can still kind of see it if you look you can still kind of see the fish and all the ingredients so we're gonna let this sit for a couple hours you got, you got a waiter down here like she's literally sitting at your feet <laughs> mala you think you're getting some foods you think you're getting some foods i already Pe mixed it people on the channel want more mala it. i don't know you, what <coughs> what you think Hold it's gonna up. be good you think it's gonna be good what you got um well babe since you're not you're gonna like this, but you're gonna love it because I got you the best cracker ever to put in this. Who's over there? Why are you like ever in chicken biscuit? Chicken biscuit? Chicken biscuit. Yo, that's crackers. like my favorite two things in the whole wide world, you know, besides Sarah. Chicken <laughs> and biscuit. Yes, it's gonna be so good. Like that I got these good. and then I got some veggie crackers and it's gonna be delicious. But first let's put my uh, sample. A chicky biscuit. Ready? <gasps> It's gonna be good. Well, you didn't make her do anything. Oh, you mean to make her do something? Sit. Show them what she'll do. Sit. Good girl. No. Good she sat. Make her fist bump. Yes, my yeah, girl. Yeah, fist homie. bump. Good girl. Yes. Speak. 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 Yeah, that's right. You do what I say. So wait, fist bump gets you chicken and biscuit? Um. <laughs> it worked. That's good. <laughs> You ready for this, baby? Girl, you gotta stop trying to make people think we're something we ain't. What, we're being fancy. Look yeah, up. I know, this is like two meals in a row that you try to be all fancy. What is this, our char- It's a smoked mackerel charcuterie char board. Char 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 <laughs> How you say it? Charcuterie. Charcuterie, char charcuterie. Mm -hmm. Kinda like that. All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm a little nervous about the Spanish mackerel dip. 
Because I'm not big on like dips and stuff most You're of the not. time. So, but Sarah did make yes. or make. She did not make. <laughs> well, Sarah bought some chicken biscuits. <laughs> and those are good. I do know that. One. Yes, so. but I do have like a Cajun uh, smoked uh, cheddar cheese that I got from Aldi's because we're Aldi's. Yeah, we have Aldi's now. Um, drop a comment down below if you've ever been to Aldi's. That store is pretty nice. So, all right, we're just going to try. I will say when you were making it, it smelled a lot like tuna salad. It so. did. It really did. And I added a few little Cajun spices It still spices smells like too. tuna salad, so. What do you think? That's pretty dang good. Is it? It really is. Oh, God, let me try. Ma'am, so try. you can actually taste... I might do, I'm gonna do the garden vegetable cracker. You can taste like the- this. Look at look at this, oh this is gosh. so adorable. Would you stop? No, Landon, uh, we actually got him a charcuterie set board for Christmas. You can actually taste the smoky in the mackerel, like you really? can where we smoked it. It is so, so good. <laughs> You're gonna love it. That's right up your alley. Mm. That's really good. The dip alone, like the mackerel's wonderful. But even without it, the mixture is perfect. Yeah, it is pretty solid, guys, for real. I could literally eat this whole board. You probably will. Don't lie, no way. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. You get five stars on that one. Presentation and taste. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Mm-hmm. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. I truly hope you guys enjoyed that. Sarah is still back here just hammering down on some smoked Spanish mackerel dip. It was a it was a fun day. I'm not big on pier fishing most of the time, but it was cool to go out there and catch some Spanish. So it's nice to have that kind of warm water fish moving back into our area. So an awesome day all around. I am not mad about it. Guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. I appreciate everybody sending in the youth angler photos and pictures. I did want to let you guys know, I have figured out a way to download them from Instagram. So if you want to send those to the cameraman Ron Instagram, I've got that linked in the bottom description box below. You can either email them in or you can send them via Instagram either one you do need to make sure you follow us on instagram if you're going to send them because they won't come through if you don't so make sure you're sending those videos and pictures in we greatly appreciate it guys if you're new here to the cameraman ron channel this is the kind of stuff we do we go out we catch fish we cook it we eat it and we just have a good time did you want some more again Sarah is about ready to smash this whole board. Y'all, I'm going to get back over here and try to eat some food before she kills it all. If you are new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button. 2022 style. We can't wait to see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.